the billiard cup was just where it was hidden back there. Also, <laughs> uh, I had root beer. <laughs> I know you don't like it. I'll live. I don't usually cry over spilt milk, but I do over coffee. Yeah, I know. Well, folks, another day in the spring steelhead campaign. We're going to see if swing season's on its way. We're in the bottom end of the river. Uh, water temperatures are still in the mid-40s, but if the fish are here, they're hungry, they'll take a fly. So we're going to cover a bunch of water. The other thing is, is water flows have dropped overnight, probably about 150 CFS. So um, hopefully there'll be a few fish starting to puddle into these big pools on the bottom of the river. So we're going to cover some water, swing some flies, get the big sticks rolling, and hopefully the fish are not social distancing on us, and we can get a couple of good grabs. Well, let's see what happens. Want me to get there with the net? Yeah. All right. She hit hard. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> It wasn't a heavy hit, it was just all of a sudden he's loading up and shaking. Yep. Almost slow motion. But it's a fish. these fish in these bigger water down in the lower end. They start eating, they get some energy back in a hurry. Yes, they do. What was that on? Steely crack. What else?
pretty sure I got it. Oh, get this. Oh, boy. This water's still really cold. Mm. Yeah, suck it up. <laughs> you ready? Yep. She's gonna take off. Yep. Give him a minute. He was resting. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay, go Hey, I'm getting your real end part. Monster. Must be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
back to you. Get yeah, right I'm almost there here. Ooh. This fish has some. Uh, this fish has got some insight. Yeah. Ah. The lower backups a little bit. There we go. Size four with a nice copper cone on it. Yeah, mine's got gold. Oh golly geez. I know. The only thing I've seen that works different on these flies is the hackle. Yes. If you get furnace, and I'll do a brown one any day. Yeah, but trying to find good furnace is tough. Alright, we got a confession. We got boxes and boxes containers full of real fancy cool flies, MIDI intruders, classic steelhead wet flies. When it's time to get it done, what do we go to? Willy buggers. These little brown and copper things with these cones on a size 4. Yeah, this is going to take the bulk of our fish for the rest of the spring through swing season. I don't get it. It's got about the action going through the water of the 2x4 compared to some uh, other stuff. But they just chew this thing up. I mean, everything else we just will have to really work to get a fish to take. But this stuff just gets it done. We don't know what the what's going on. Well, so we just kind of call it steely crack because they when we need a fish, we just fish these things this time of year and it gets it done. We might be having a temperature bump. this again to temp too. Move over a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Line up here. That looks a little bit better. It's kind of a goofy bunch. On the last video, a few people left comments about um, asking what kind of setup we're using on our rods. So we're going to take a quick little run and explain what we're setting up. Uh, Rick and I get, um, each rod of Rick and I running are set just a little bit different to match our rods. So I'm going to step out and let Rick explain what he's doing, then I'll explain how my rod is set up. So today what we're doing is we're running a 13.6 rod. And as you notice, we got a little bigger reel out. One is to balance out the rod so when you're casting it doesn't wear out your shoulder trying to run. Um, got a 540 rage line on it. And basically what we're using today is a T8 tip. It's a 10 foot T8 um, down to basically a woolly bugger. We're about, yeah, probably about five feet of leader. 
one, to keep the tip away, because we are dealing with some clear water conditions, you know, keeping that tip away from the fish a little more, but also still getting our fly down to where it needs to be. So that is basically what we're running on this rod. Okay, back to you now. <laughs> yeah, my turn. All right, my turn. Yeah, like Rick is running the rage. This rod likes to skagit set up, so I got a skagit set up. I'm running about a 20 foot driver head. And once again, I got to tip the match, the, the river conditions. And where we are, the, the 10 foot um, T8 works really good. Same length leader, about five feet. Uh, you can see a theme here with flies. And of course, a bouncing reel. We got our screamers on so you can hear them. Unlike my winter rod where I'm running a mono running line, I went back to a normal uh, running line here, which is kind of nice. It's a little easier to handle. So, and it's a full floating um, Skagit driver too, by the way, because I took off the, um, the intermediate sink. So I'm running a floating driver, a floating running line, a traditional, more normal running line. It's water's down, so it's a little bit easier. Plus, I don't have to deal with ice. So this is the setup I'm running with this rod. Again. <laughs> I'll back up a little bit. <laughs> Folks, I think we're gonna call it a day. That wasn't a bad day at all. Looks like swing season's on us. We got a good run with the big rods and some great grabs today. As always, feel free to comment, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the uh, little bell icon because we're gonna be doing more. Until then, see you, folks. Ooh, on bottom. You like that rock? That's a cool rock. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Yowie! <laughs>